Hello, welcome to a stream from NC State Libraries. Uh, my name's Christy and we're playing Child of Light today. Let me know how the audio is so that I can change it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm audible. Uh, okay, so let's jump in. I also have, um, I think, this third one is our save file. Oh good, the audio sounds good, so I must not have changed settings from the last time I streamed. Um, I also have St. Patrick's Day trivia, which I'm excited about, because uh, my, my grandparents immigrated here from Ireland, so um, even though I've never been, I it's like my number one bucket list destination. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see if I remember how to play the game. If I recall correctly, we had just picked up another party member. Um, hopefully that key tapping isn't super loud. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's pretty near the microphone. Um, yeah, continuing from last stream. So we're picking back up. We just got a party member. I think the acrobat uh, from the circus and um, where's my little here he is ooh firefly elixir um, I don't really remember the plot of this game <laughs> I think we are a princess who's in another realm or something like that you know typical fantasy stuff um, speaking of fantasy, my, uh, husband and I have been getting super into Lord of the Rings. Um, that's not really related to anything. I just want to talk about Lord of the Rings. We're planning on watching the extended edition of the first, uh, the first book or the first movie, um, this weekend. Cause we just finished the first book, Fellowship of the Ring. And I've seen the regular uh, movie before, but I haven't seen the extended edition. So I'm super excited. Looking forward to Friday. <laughs> it's our big Friday night plans. I'm just going to assume that I need to head to the left, but it looks like the world is ending on the left, so maybe not. Okay, first piece of St. Patrick's Day trivia. True or false, St. Patrick was British. Ooh, I bet listening to the um, audiobook versions is a super cozy experience. All right, how do I battle? Do I just run into them? I think I do. I've also heard that the Harry Potter audiobooks are super great. I actually don't know off the top of my head if... Um, what our audiobook collections are like at the library. Uh, that is true. St. Patrick was not Irish, he was British. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to tumble the spider. I'm going to starlight this spider. Uh, so St. Patrick was born in Great Britain and then he was kidnapped by Irish raiders um, and he ended up being a shepherd for a while and then he uh, became a missionary for the Catholic Church um, and we celebrate St. Patrick's Day on the day of his death, March 17th. Is anyone doing anything for St. Patrick's Day this year? I'm not even wearing green. I kind of forgot about it. It's a weird year to be celebrating any holidays, I guess. I'm just going to slash these boys. St. Patrick's Day socks. Oh my gosh. I want to hear more about your holiday themed socks. <laughs> I always want to be an interesting sock person, but 
I never wear enough socks. You have to wear socks to be an interesting sock person. The real question is, do you wear socks to bed? I feel like there's a right answer and a wrong answer for it. Yee! Man, these are tough. I wonder if uh, I can use a magic spell instead of... And I think that she has healing, right? Yeah, heal. So I can heal Aurora. Okay, good. Yeah. Socks to bed is a uh, sacrilege. I don't know how anybody does it. And you know, I think... Uh, I don't know if I have time to cast this before I get hit, but I'm gonna try this and see if it's more effective than... Yeah, yeah? God, they're still not dead. This is harder than I thought it would be. Oh, there you go. Devastation. Okay, yeah, so... I think that the light spells are super effective against the whatever these are. Were werewolves? Wolverines? I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just tumble. I'll try and slow him down. It does seem like a big difficulty jump from the difficulty from the difficulty uh, of the first time that I streamed. I think I like just gained the ability to fly and now the enemies seem more challenging. I mean, I do have an extra member in my party, so it's kind of fair. Defend prevents being interrupted. That's good to know. But then you give up a turn. Um, I think that the idea that you can only use your holiday things on the holiday is wrong because I have snowman plates that I use all year. And I stand by that decision. My little firefly isn't wanting to obey my mouse very well. We've got this monitor that I'm using to play the game hooked up by USB because the cats broke the HDMI port. So I think that the mouse is having a little bit of trouble connecting. <laughs> Slow down. That's okay. Um, nobody really needs healing. I guess I'll just tumble again. And then... Gosh, she's almost out of magic. I should check to see if there's a map. No, cats and HDMI ports don't mix. They got scared. The doorbell rang one day and uh, the desktop computer was set up near the door and the cats all got scared when it rang and ran directly into the cords that connected the uh connected the monitors to the desktop so they knocked it all down into the wall now there's a hole in the wall and it broke one of the hdmi ports so i always say that okay i don't think that we have the map i always say that uh Having a lot of animals, I have four, is like a good lesson in not getting too attached to things because anything can break at any time. I think I've been here before. I shouldn't have gone a month between playing. I'll try to go to the right, Let's see what's over to the right. Yeah, I've had many things destroyed over the years. <laughs> My dog is uh, half lab, half beagle, and so she really likes to chew on things. Um, and she has 
What do I do with these? Why aren't they glowing? Oh, cute. She has destroyed many things in her time, especially when she was a puppy. I have a book that she literally ate. She ate a book. Hmm. Well, okay, we'll just continue on. That was a great treat. It reminds me of um, La Florian in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I think until I finish the books and the movies, uh, Lord of the Rings is just going to be the lens through which I see the world. The book was fiction. I don't even remember what it was called. It was just a paperback that I had, and she ate it. She just ate it. Okay, there's an unopened treasure chest, so we must be going the right way. I guess I might as well fight this. Impressive is one word for it, yeah. Wow, these things are fast. Okay, St. Patrick's Day trivia part two. What is the national symbol of Ireland? And I do have a hint if you want one. National symbol of Ireland. Uh, I really don't think I have time to do anything. Cool, so let's see. I wonder if I... Looks like I have my magic bag. Oof. All right, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try to interrupt. If I can get my firefly working, I'm going to try to interrupt this guy and slow him down with the firefly. Ooh. Let's see. Nope, it didn't work. Okay, the hint is, it is a musical instrument. Surely that will kill him. No! Dang enemies. Uh, I guess I'll just play it safe and defend. I'll just defend both of them this round. Oh, that's a good that's a good guess, a liar. It is a harp. Um, so Ireland is the only country to have a musical instrument as a national symbol. And it has some of the oldest harps in the world at Trinity College in Dublin. I think that uh, a lot of people think that the national symbol of Ireland would be a shamrock. But it is not. It is a it is a nice national symbol. Just a lovely instrument. Ooh, this will interrupt it. Yeah, cool. Okay. I think I have time for a longer spell here. Oh, yep. Great. It's so much easier when you're fighting one enemy <laughs> instead of three. All right, level up. probably go into a menu at some point. Ooh, background about the Trinity College harp. Uh, 
Um, have you ever been to Ireland? Anyone in chat? I have not been outside of North America. Um, I've got family in Canada, so I've been to Canada. Uh, but it's as far as I've gone. I intend to go other places. <laughs> All right, I think that these vines will hurt me, so I'm going to fly very carefully. I'm sure that NCU has some cool study abroad. Strength Stardust. I'm guessing that that permanently increases my one of my stats, my strength stat. I do feel like we're moving in the right direction here. Well, I did feel like we're moving in the right direction. I think maybe stick to the left. Yeah, okay. Do I want to do another battle or do I want to just float by? You'd love to visit Canada? You should. I've got family in Nova Scotia, which is, oh, look, it's another beautiful tree, which is a really nice place to visit. Um, they live near Halifax. done this before oh my god I'm losing my mind I don't know where I've been in this game yeah I've done this before what I wouldn't give for a map flying is super fun I had a there's a, a game called Metroid <laughs> Uh, there's a, I forget the name, there's a version on GameCube, um, a Metroid game on GameCube, where I had the cheat code disc for it. So you put in the cheat code disc and then you put in the game disc after it and it let you fly anywhere just like this. So I was always breaking the game because I would fly places that you weren't supposed to, but it felt, it felt very freeing and good. <laughs> Gosh, what is the Metroid that's on GameCube? It's like the most popular one. And I cannot remember it. They're also working on a new Metroid game. Although details are scant. But that could be fun or terrible. You know, if you just fly in this game, it's pretty chill. Just flying through space. The altar perched high. The lady said we have to pass it by. Oops, almost ran into an enemy there. hitting the edge of the map again yeah metroid prime yes thank you that's the only metroid game that i've played Ooh. is he friendly uh-oh He does not seem to be friendly. This seems to be a boss battle. The only thing that they've said about the new one is that it's Metroid 4. So that is literally all that I know about it is that its working title is Metroid 4. And I think it's Switch, coming in the Switch. Ah, uh, gosh, okay. We'll see how this goes. Maybe I should have upgraded things in the upgrade tree. Um, okay, trivia. What are the two islands in Europe that are larger than Ireland? Two 
two islands in Europe that are larger than Ireland. I'm going to just defend. Okay, 22 damage, not terrible. Not too many of these are about geography, so don't worry. Ah, dang. She got interrupted. I will starlight. I'll try and take out this boy at the top left. Uh, yeah, just tumble. So the answer is Great Britain and Iceland. Ireland is the third largest island in Europe. Oh, poor circus moon. Gosh, I gotta heal her. Okay, that helped a little. Um, let's see. I'm going to, I wonder if I can heal myself or take a potion. Mm, is there a better? Mm, okay, better than nothing. Okay, that did pretty well. Iceland, yes. Another place that looks absolutely beautiful. see pictures of like beautiful cabins in Iceland and natural geography and I don't know it just seems like the perfect place to live out in nature <laughs> interrupted okay can I attack before I get interrupted let's try it Let's try it, but I'm not confident about it. Uh, nope. Dang. Oh, if he's gathering strength, that might be kind of bad. Oh, well. Okay, now we can focus on the giant. Uh, tumble, I suppose. Pretty good on health. I bet he has about a million HP. Um, do I have time for a very long casting time? I think I do. Yeah, looks like that's gonna be an okay decision. We'll see if he's weak to that kind of spell. No, he is not. That's okay. We got physical attacks. Oh, good dodge. Okay. Um, just stick with tumbling. All right, question. Where was the first St. Patrick's Day parade held? I guess this is kind of a geography question, but I think that it's not a difficult question. It's probably wherever you're thinking of. <laughs> the first St. Patrick's Day parade. trap him in a cycle of just getting interrupted. That would be nice. Or maybe not. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just defend. He's hunched over though, so. Dublin. No, I might have misled you by saying that the answer was obvious. Uh, New York. It was the first St. Patrick's Day parade was held by um, Irish soldiers in the British Army. So it wasn't even held in Ireland. Only out of wishes. Dublin was a good guess. Good lord. This man has a lot of HP. I think I'm probably gonna kill him before I need to heal. Oh my gosh, what's my mouse doing? It is interesting. You think that I don't know. You'd think that it would be Ireland to celebrate St. Patrick's Day first. I'm sure that they did celebrate it first, but I'm guessing New York was the first one to like hold a parade. Okay, this question I like. Ireland has an ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, which celebrates the end of summer. It later merged with All Saints Day to become what major American holiday? Wow, I'm so proud of my team. We leveled up, we beat the giant. Ooh, we're going to a new location. Oh, it looks the same as the first location. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, there's a map available now. I won't be flying aimlessly. What's down here, though? Other than thorny vines that can hurt me. A treasure chest. Magic potion. Cool. Guessing that that um, restores my MP. I'm going to upgrade these people real quick. Dodge percent upgrade magic defense. MP. What do I want to do? Do magic defense. Double clicking. Okay. Uh, I have two skill points. This costs one, so I'll go ahead and get it. Counter attack. What oh, only costs one? Perfect. All right. Let's upgrade. What's her name? I don't see her name. HP, always a good one. MP, counter heal. These are good skills. Dodge percent. All right, I'm happy with that. Halloween, yes, correct. So the Celtic festival of Samhain merged with All Saints Day to become Halloween. Which I called an American holiday in the question, but uh, I don't think it's just American. I'm going to avoid you, sir. More treasure. Ooh, a revive. Nice. I guess there's no, like, little shop in this game, so... Might as well get all the treasure that I can. Boop. Just gonna skate past that. Ooh, there's an enemy I didn't see. How are people feeling about um, the return to fall? Excited, nervous? They say it's gonna be somewhat normal again, which seems difficult to believe. It will be really nice uh, for me personally <laughs> to 
to see students again. I really miss seeing students. Should be interesting, yeah. Um, I think I've talked about this before, but I was on campus for, oh, counterattack. That skill already came in handy. I was on campus for uh, about a week and a half after starting this job before we went remote. So I still have a lot to learn about um, campus. And I had a Zoom background of, where's Defend? It's under Act. Uh, I had a Zoom background of somewhere in Tally Hall. And I, is it called Tally Hall? Tally, Tally Hall is the band. Tally Student Center? I don't know. Uh, but everybody was like, oh, it's Tally. And I have not been there. <laughs> so. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, you can be my... <laughs> How do we navigate these buildings, buddy? <laughs> I think I think the Hunt Library is pretty easy to navigate. I think that the Hill Library um, is a little bit more confusing. But I am really excited to see the renovation in person because they've added some beautiful spaces to the Hill Library. I too will be very lost and navigating like where to park. It's, it's a whole thing we need to start thinking about. Hopefully everyone will take it slow in returning to normal and like reacclimate themselves to the in-person experience. I think we have some uh, meditation devices that you can check out from the technology lending program if the return is stressful. I think Netflix now has some guided meditations too. Aurora's so cute. Look at her. All right, let's see if I can find another trivia question. Okay, this one's multiple choice. How old is the oldest pub in Ireland? A, 400 years, B, 900 years, C, 1,000 years. The oldest pub in Ireland, 400, 900, oop, nope, I don't wanna fight you. Or, oh dang, I guess I am fighting you. Uh, 400, 900, or 1,000. I think for anybody who uses like the tutoring services on campus or the uh, um, writing center on campus, uh, the renovations will be really good for you because it pulls all that stuff together in one place in the library. So you can like go get tutoring in Hill and then go sit at a table and study. It's like a, a one-stop shop now. That's how it was in the library where I worked before here, um, and it was really popular. So I think it's exciting. Yeah. Thousand years? Incorrect. It's 900 years. And that is the uh, Sean's Bear in Athlone, or Athlone? It's spelled the same way my dad spells uh, his name, Sean, S-E-A-N. It's the Irish way to spell it. <laughs> I have a lot of cousins with very traditional Irish names like Fanula and uh, Rory, but Rory has like six or seven letters in it somehow. And, uh, oh gosh, I don't even remember the names now. Malachi. It's an adventure in spelling, Irish names. I do really like the name Fanula. Ooh, I hurt myself a little there. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my husband in the background yelling at the animals to stop being so happy. <laughs> he doesn't mean it. <laughs> we just have the world's happiest dog. <laughs> you can just look at her and she'll start wagging her tail. 
Nine hundred years is a very long time. Apparently, there's a debate in Ireland about what the true oldest pub is because, um, so Sean's what is it called? Sean's Bear has the official title of oldest pub in the Guinness Book of Records, but there's a pub in Ireland that says that it is the oldest pub. So controversy. And uh, I'm gonna try and block the spider. I'm sure it won't work. And that the pub in Dublin um, that thinks that it's the oldest pub has had like super famous people there, like Jonathan Swift and, and Jonathan Swift is the only one I can remember. <laughs> I know, a little bit of Irish pub gossip for you. Oh, no, I just need to defend. Oops. Mm, unpause. Well, I don't know how to go back and change my choice, so I guess I'm attacking. These enemies are getting hard. Okay, well, that's at least one. All right, I gotta heal my girl. Can she heal herself? Oh, it's giving me a tip. I can heal her with the firefly. If only the mouse would stay in one place. He keeps drifting upwards. This monitor is truly the worst. Be a little more confident now. Uh, let's see if we can get the fast one. Knocked out first. True or false, there are no snakes in Ireland. No snakes in Ireland. What do you think? Personally, I'm pro snake. Ooh, she needs to heal. Okay. Heal thyself. Cool. Two down, one to go. And then I'm going to try and not fly into any enemies this time. It is true. There are no snakes in Ireland, and there never were. It's because there are snakes in um, Great Britain, but they can't make it to Ireland because of water. They can't cross the water. Um, so Ireland, because it's an island, doesn't have any snakes. So I guess they have no water snakes. <laughs> I remember we went um, camping near Virginia Beach once and we saw about I don't know, a dozen water snakes? Ooh, okay, that's not a good spell to use. But I don't think that any of the snakes, the water snakes that we saw were the dangerous kind. Um, I don't remember what the dangerous water snakes are. Cottonmouth? Or they might be land snakes. But. I think that they were just the cute little harmless water snakes. We also saw, have I already talked about this? Um, we also saw a snake, a little baby snake, just walking around our neighborhood. And then I was looking up apps that could identify snake species. Um, Cause there's an app that you can do that with uh, plants. If you don't know what a plant is, you can take a picture and submit it. And it'll like use AI to try and identify what the plant is. So I was looking for apps that could do that with um, snakes. And there is one, but it's done by people. There's no algorithm. So you send in a picture of a snake and then within a couple days, somebody will like text you and tell you uh, what kind of snake it was. <laughs> Can I heal her outside of battle? Yes, cool. Um. 
thought that was very cute. So we saw a snake walking around our neighborhood and it turned out to be a baby water snake. They also have one for birds, which I think is run out of Cornell, um, where it uses, you can like record little clips of um, bird song. I forget what it's called, the app. It might be like bird watch or something. Uh, but you can record clips of bird song, and then their algorithm will analyze the clips and tell you what bird that's likely to be. So sometimes, this is a very quarantine activity for me, sometimes I sit on my back patio and just record little clips of bird song and then see what birds are booping around. <laughs> I forget what the bird is that... Uh, is it a mockingjay that can hear um, different sounds like car alarms and whatnot and then incorporate that into its call? But uh, I live in a new construction neighborhood right now, so there's always construction going on. And this bird will imitate the construction sounds. <laughs> so it has the most non-musical uh, bird song because <laughs> it's just imitating construction sounds. Is this area just this big guy? I don't want to fight that. I need to fly up? Alright, I guess I'll fight it. It is fun. It's a real like citizen science project. Uh, developing an app that can help people identify the birds in their backyards. And I'm sure that they use that data to be like, oh, a person in North Carolina said that there was a mockingjay in their backyard. So now we know that the species is alive and well in North Carolina, or, you know, stuff like that. I'd love to be one of those people who can just see a bird out in the wild and tell you what it is, but I'm not. I have to use an app. I need to defend with the tumble girl too. Bombard. Gosh, so many attacks in a row. Okay. Here's a multiple choice. In what year did Ireland legalize divorce? A, 1920, B, 1956, C, 1997. In what year did they legalize divorce? Which one am I working on, the spider? It is a fun game. It's a it's like the cutest little kind of lightweight RPG. So there's not too much management. It's easy to learn. Um, and the art is incredible. It's all like this hand drawn watercolor. I think it's pretty cheap too and on a lot of different platforms because it's been out for quite a while. Although I do seem to get lost a lot. So the one downside of this game. <laughs> 1956, the answer is 1997. So divorce wasn't legal in Ireland until 1997. But also they were uh, the first country to um, legalize gay marriage by public referendum. I feel like it's a little contradictory there, but uh, very slow to legalize divorce, very fast to legalize gay marriage. So that's pretty great, nonetheless. Interrupted. Oh. You mean the enemies can also dodge? That doesn't seem fair. 
Um, let's see, what other trivia do I have before the hour's up? Uh, okay, I think this one's fun. Uh, the ashes of this well-known saint are buried in Dublin. Some of the lesser known duties of the saint were the patron saint of epilepsy and beekeepers. So any guesses as to the saint buried in Dublin who was the patron saint of epilepsy and beekeepers? Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm trying to heal her, but this dang firefly keeps drifting upwards for no reason. It doesn't seem fair that they're both sped up and I'm slowed down. Uh, I guess we'll try to take out this little one before we start focusing on the bigger one. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of saint questions, <laughs> I guess. That's just what I was able to find on Google <laughs> uh, this morning for fun facts about Ireland. A little bit of religious history for the stream, I guess. It is St. Valentine, not St. Patrick. So St. Valentine, in addition to being the saint associated with courtly love, is what the internet said, uh, also the patron saint of beekeepers and epilepsy. And buried in Dublin as a gift, the ashes of St. Valentine were given to Dublin as a gift from the Pope of the time, which is kind of a weird gift, I think. Um, and apparently they're kept in like a small, a small church in Dublin now, and uh, couples go there a lot to ask for blessings on their love. Growth spurt, you are big enough. I don't know if I'll have time for too much more of the game before the hour's up here. A lot of battling, very battle heavy stream. It is nice. There was a, where I went to undergrad was um, the College of William and Mary, and there was a, a little bridge there called the Crimdale um, that was rumored to be good luck for uh, couples. If you walked across it holding hands with your beloved, then you would be together forever. Uh, but if you walked across it backwards, then you would break up. That was the rumor. And I thought I just offended her. What did I do? Shoot. Or I did defend her, but no, I healed. Well, that's fine. Too. It's like the the Crimdell at William and Mary is one of the most photographed campus spots uh, in the country. It's very pretty. Okay, what is the national language of Ireland? I don't think I have time to do anything but defend. guesses for national language of Ireland. English or Gaelic? Any other? Any other guesses? I can't believe this enemy isn't dead yet, by the way. Um, Let me see if I can 
heal my girl a little here. Yeah. Alright, she should be good. Um, it is Irish. <laughs> That's kind of a trick question. Uh, so they still learn uh, Irish, which is a Gaelic language uh, in like grade school. Um, but people in Ireland do speak English more than Irish. I feel like that was a tough question because yeah. How can you not second guess yourself? I think I've tried one of these light spells. Let me see if that's a little bit more effective. Alright, I think this is the last question we're going to have time for. Oh, but it's hard. Let me see. Um, Alright, this is a question about beer. Which country is the largest consumer of Guinness beer? The famous Irish beer. Which country is the largest consumer? Oh, I didn't pay attention to if that spell was effective or not. America, any other guesses? That took like 10 minutes. I mean, a lot of experience points. That's good. <laughs> I'll accept that. Uh, it is the British. The British consume the most Guinness, followed by Nigeria, with Ireland in third place. I thought that was interesting. All right, I'm going to do some skill point upgrades and then call it a day. Um, but I hope to play this again on stream. Uh, and thanks for hanging out. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I hope you check out Child of Light and... Uh, use the libraries because they're great and um happy saint patrick's day thanks everybody well maybe i can't quit stream <laughs> uh let's see there we go okay now thanks everybody and uh have a good rest of your day